Russell Crowe was here. Hello. <laughs> I don't need to be here. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about music. I'm here to talk about my, 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 my film work. Your film work. Oh, I, Look, we're I having just, a musical show. I thought that you were here to talk about 30 Odd Foot of Grunts, my favorite band. No. Great band name, too. Great. I'm really glad, rolls glad off the that. tongue. Sometimes you forget the of. The other, the, there was a working title that was called uh, 60 Stone of uh, Giant's Law. 60 Stone of Giant's Lore. Yeah. I like that just as much. I, th- I say six of one, half dozen of the other. I you like can't obscure lose. measurements and prepositional phrases. <laughs> so you don't want to talk about your music at all? Because we, you have two fellow musicians here. You guys could find a lot in common. Do you, are you with BMI or ASCAP? Look, I have a limited experience with BMI. Limited experience? But I'm a big fan of ASCAP. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know what that means. You have limited experience with BMI, but you're a big fan of ASCAP. Dark sexual, sexual <laughs> techniques. Oh, okay. So, oh no, I'm talking about the oh, ASCAP. Uh, that's what you think that is. That's not what that is. Though. That's no. No, it's when you put a cap on your. <laughs> no, no, no. In a BMI, it doesn't no, have anything to do with the bowel movement. No, I, I'm certain that it does. <laughs> okay. You're telling me that I haven't been in a hotel room, stared at myself in a broken mirror. Do you know George Zimmer? Zimmer by the way, you guys are both very sexual. <laughs> Look, Immediately. <laughs> look, I've just retreated into the shadows back here. I'm just enjoying this from a distance of about 10 to 12 feet. All right, let me talk to Russell if I could. Russell, what, you're here to... I've been here the whole time while you're staring at me and telling me... Kind of look, I'll talk to you when I want to. Okay. You want to talk to me? No, I, I do I'm want here to, to talk promote to... my fucking movie. It's called Nur. Wow. It's called... What is this It's now? called Nur. Nur? It's called Nur. Nur. The biblical story of the man who survived the flood of the deluge. What's the fucking problem with it? Noah. I saved the fucking world. Oh. Look, you say it, Noah, mate. That's not how I'm going to say it, okay? It's nah. N- that's how you Scott, pronounce it. Scott, I want you to look in my eyes and imagine that I'm a twinkling father figure, okay? Uh, sure. The okay. good Lord puts $100 in your pocket. What do you do with it? I go spend it? Wrong. Fuck. What? You go, what, you, what you do is you multiply it. You take that. You take a hundred dollar bill. You find a mate with another hundred dollar bill. You put it on arc. You survive the flood. Oh, okay. So and if two you two by two afterwards, it multiplies. If you found another hundred dollar bill and put it on an arc, all of a sudden that it would multiply. Okay, I understand. That's the way it works. Wasn't, okay, that's why I signed on to the project. Was Noah's family the only people that were on the arc? Right? Look, or, or is it <laughs> Matt? You're getting him upset here. <laughs> Matt, is it? Look, I don't. Know, I didn't meet you, man. I don't have a problem with you Sorry. being here, Cross. I usually have every, I usually have everyone either arrested or put in a temporary confinement. Uh, I'm sorry. When I come into a room somewhere, look. If you're going to talk to me, um, okay, I will. I'm I sorry. thought it was a good question, Matt, but you're obviously I, I, I upsetting didn't. him. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Crow. That's Matt, and I'm Red. Just so we are introduced. To and now, it's and nice I'm, to and meet and you. And I'm going to deal with you too. No, I, you, did look. you say Red? By the way, is that is that really your name, Red? Have I been getting no. it wrong this whole time? No, it was Red. It's Red. It's a, and are you saying Mad? Mad. Mad. Okay, great. So, Rhett and Mad. And uh, yeah, now you guys I'm, are met. I'm Russell Crowe. Yeah, I know you're Russell Crowe. Look, I'm Russell Crowe, mate. What's the problem? Okay, no, I know you are. So to- I'm a gladiator. You're not really a gladiator, I Look, think. Look, I know that. I'm not stupid. Okay. But uh, you- I've just decided that I would only believe certain things. Okay. Now, but but Matt has a good question. We want to hear about this there new movie, no, Nuh. There are no good questions. Only good answers. Jennifer Connelly is, the, is your wife in the movie, right? Fine. Yeah, why? Sure. Okay. So, so it was you and your whole family that's on the on, was on the on the arc. And yeah, did then, you get to take your kids, or is it just your? Look, what I wanted to do. I got down and I studied. I went and I I looked up Noah's life. And I just I looked at what he was like. I tried to get in his head. Yeah. I went. Oh, he's surrounded by water. Yeah. What is that like? So, how did you do that? How did you did you surround yourself with water? Well, I read the script underwater. Wow. I have a little I have a little tub. I put my head down in it. That's how I read the script for the first time. I have an underwater pad. It was invented by the Sony Corporation. When you say, when you say script, are you talking about the Bible or the movie script? No, I took, I took the, I would take the Bible, I would take, I had a box full of Bibles. And I would go down into my little tub. It's a little hot tub outside right next to my pool. And I'd go down in there and I would read as much of the Bible as I could in about before four the, minutes before it turned to pulp. Before the pages disintegrated. Yeah. And that's how I went through the book of Genesis over and over and over again. Every day I would run half a marathon and then come back, read the book, read the book of Genesis until it turned to pulp. In my hot tub. So right now my hot tub is basically a pile of pulpy biblical papers. Oh, wow. Does it clog you up the drains at all? or It started to. I had to, I had to eliminate parts of the Bible, not for theological reasons, but sure. I had to stop pulling parts of the Bible out. Sure, there's, because you want a clean is, hot tub. This is Matt asking a question. Mad. Matt. There, there's not a look, ton. Matt, there's not a- I'm a big fan. I've admired you for years. Why, why don't you look? Why don't you have some self-respect, man? Okay. 
Uh, my question though is about you don't. There's not a whole. Uh, there's not a lot in the in the Bible about Noah. It's like just a few little bits and stuff. So, and you, are you looking I, at the word count? No, I just, I just, I think I know. Wait, this, wait are you calling him a count? And comic there's count. limited information uh, like in count the story, Dracula? though. But I'm just like, how did you turn it into a whole movie? That's and, a literalism. I'm not prepared to interpret. Wait, you, you, I, I cut you off there. What was it, man? I said there's just not a there's not a ton about Noah. Yeah, it's that, not like one of the greatest stories in the Bible. A, you just you just said there's not a ton so about Noah. There's not a lot of content. I mean, it's like. A, Would you rather have a fucking op- movie opening at the end of March about f- a fucking Samson and Delilah? Is that a picture you'd rather see? That sounds good, actually. Well, I bought the fucking rights to it, so you might see it soon. Okay. I have the rights. To, I have the rights to Samson and Delilah. And if I have the option, if I want to, to knock over a fucking temple and kill all the extras in it. That's how I make these movies. Would what? that be you and Jennifer Connelly as well, Samson and Delilah? Would she? Be cutting your hair and look. I'm open. To, I'm open to it, but the, but it would take so long. I've got to get this Noah thing done if I'm going to do it's, the entire Bible. That Russell Crowe does the Bible. I'm pretty sure it's done. It's coming out pretty soon. Do you believe? Are you? I don't know. Are you? Are you? Uh, I'm a Catholic, but I'm. I'm. You know, I, I don't believe all of it. Um, but uh, so you believe? So then, you do know, you believe in Noah? No. No. Well, I, I mean, I, there might have been somebody, but I don't believe in what they call the Great Flood. Or I, be, I believe that dinosaurs were a long, much longer ago than than than. The, so the, wait a minute. Uh, with uh, the, with the, uh, I think the Noah great... existed, but he took all the dinosaurs, and that's what they're talking oh, about. Really? When they talk about animals, and it was like a Jurassic Park kind of situation on a boat. That is a movie I'd like to see. Look, Scary. Mate, yeah. look, mate. There's plenty of valid interpretations, and I have respect for m- multiple traditions. Whatever anybody believes about the Ark, there's some people who believe that Noah literally was a man and he brought animals two by two on an ark that was curved and wooden like you see in the picture books there's people that believe that no dinosaurs and I've got to respect those people there's also people like Scott who believe that there was dinosaurs and that Noah had a spaceship instead of an ark on this planet oh that's even better a spaceship full of dinosaurs like dinosaur spaceships and that we came from another planet we came from Mars or we came from Venus and that's what we came here for so you were on Mars right the deluge the deluge was a metaphor for the destruction of the planet like a meteorite shower look I think either way you fall down on it, those are both rational ways to believe, to, to look at the Noah's Ark. I, would, I don't want to say myth, I want to say narrative. Um, so look, I don't, it doesn't matter if you don't believe that Noah is true. Maybe you believe in Atlantis. That's also perfectly valid. Oh, that would be good too. Like uh, Atlantis, every, every, everything, like it rained so much that all of a sudden it created the lost city of Atlantis and that's where you guys it, developed gills. Yeah. And it, was that so within the, the, the flood in Atlantis, was that, did that happen to Atlantis during the flood or is that a whole different, I don't know. That's, these are different traditions. The hell are you guys Is that in the movie? About? Is that in the movie? Yeah, what, Look, is, what is your movie we fil- I filmed an entire, there was an entire, there was an entire hour we filmed it was that where we had we built Atlantis and we had it being flooded. We, oh. we we knew we were gonna cut it out before we went in. In the script, it was the pages were colored differently. We knew going in, we were. These are going to be deleted scenes. They, yep, we filmed it anyway, <laughs> and we flooded Atlantis. We killed all the extras, and then we deleted and we the footage is gone. You can't see it. How do you flood? It? Oh, meaning Atlantis was above the sea, and then you flooded it, Originally. and everyone was killed because it would be hard to flood. Mer people. Oh wait, and maybe. Kill them. Look, am I confusing stuff? Was Atlantis always underwater? I, I wonder. Maybe it was. Uh, it was above the water, and that's when it flooded everyone. Through evolution, everyone grew gills because uh, you know they. And, yeah. I don't know anything about that nonsense. Okay. Look, I keep my head clear because I exercise every day. Maybe you should get out there sometime, Scott. Okay, that's right. You're running all the time. I look at your Twitter, and you're you're running and lifting weights. Look, you, you're you, still you can follow of... me on Twitter for updates on some asshole at, the, at, a, at a hotel checkout desk or how much I ran that day or what my fucking pulse is. Why are you so overweight, though? If you, I mean, because you're what do you mean I'm up, fucking overweight? I mean, you're like a chunky guy. I'm, I'm healthy in a way a bear is healthy. Are you afraid of a bear? You should be afraid of me. I could rip I'm, your fucking fight. I could. I want to rip your fight. You seem well, really angry. I'm yeah. just wondering, do you feel like you're an angry person? If I was angry, would I have a quiet voice like this? <laughs> That's Can a, I ask you what that? Happened That's a good the, point. What Red, happened you, at the hotel? What do you mean the hotel? You t- he's mentioned a hotel well, desk. Well, yeah, there's that famous thing of you yelling at a dude. Oh, well, you threw a phone. I ripped the telephone. Yeah, I ripped yeah, the telephone out of a wall. Why did you do room. that? Why did you do that? Yeah. Well, because I didn't see any fucking swords that I could stab him with. Why else would I do it? Wow. I guess that makes sense. I mean, through the fucking telephone at her because I because there was I didn't see any blunt objects right to, beat huh. him to death with. Look, what I'm saying is you've got to be committed to your art. You want to make a picture yeah. to you, your art. You cannot be beholden to <laughs> one. That's very true. That's a really smart remark. You, uh, that's what I thought you said. I'm sorry. That's a very smart rem arc. <laughs> <laughs> In a lot of ways, right? Now hold on a second. I feel like I'm running a half marathon around me right now. <laughs> 
mentally? I feel like I'm being punished. Right, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to be flip about this movie that's obviously very important to you. Look, the film is important. Uh, we spent so much money on it. It, was, it cost $2 billion to make. What? That's it cost too much I heard money. The, I heard this about it. I heard that um, that they tested it in front of a bunch of um, religious groups. And, right, and, yes. and they, they the first test was Darren Aronofsky's original cut. They didn't they they didn't like that because they thought it was off off Bible or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they recut it. They thought it would appeal, be closer to to get to get uh, Catholics and Christians and to come to see it more. But then they still didn't like it. So they decided to fuck it and just use Darren's original version. Is I that could, true? It's true. I couldn't give a fuck. I don't care. I made it. I look. I made it. I made it because of a fetish for Christianity because I look at the Bible. I look at the Noah story and I think it's interesting. I think it would be fantastic to be a person that outlives everyone. I just always wanted to be in a boat and watch a bunch of people drown and be the one person yeah. that survives. Mm -hmm. Some people call that a sociopath. Some people call that someone who wants a massive global genocide. I just think it sounds like fun to be the person that goes, oh, you all died and I didn't. I just think that's fucking fun and I got to make it real. You know, with... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, climate change, as the as they call it, climate change. Come on, it's global warming. Um, <laughs> it might happen. Did you get to keep the boat? You know, just in case it does happen. Of course, I have the boat. It was a dry run. What do you think? Oh, so you made the movie to sort of prepare yourself for what happens if? Look, it's going to happen. It's already happening. You know, the ice caps are melting. Uh -huh. The seawater's rising everywhere. We're seeing these massive superstorms. I, I, it, of course, we're going to need a boat. I, not only do I have a boat, I have several of them several arcs well yes because you know when you're filming with an arc and one of them gets temperamental you need a stunt on set arc. you need a stunt arc to come in wow so you have a bunch of these boats are you gonna let any humans on it absolutely fucking not why i have five of them three of them are gonna be empty <laughs> was it just empty boats <laughs> yep just floating around just to prove the concept <laughs> well what's gonna be on the other two well the one of the other two is well there's a there's a one that's a wild card and <laughs> what do you mean when you say well, it's wild gonna, card it's gonna have a lot of it's it's look it's gonna Can't have just a, catch cam it's gonna have a lot of booby traps in it it's gonna have a lot of like it's gonna be like a, like a super mario brothers level okay. where if you can get on it without getting sliced to death then you get to survive but mostly it, <laughs> chances are it's not gonna be a working arc for you it look if you do it's gonna be great i'm gonna see you in the future world and i'm gonna go hey you made it or whatever your grandchildren or your great grandchildren uh -huh. whenever the you know humanity meets again uh, Will there be coins as well that people can collect? Yeah, you can jump up and hit bricks. I tested it all out. You hit, you jump up and you hit, hit bricks and they leak uh, gold coins. Wow, this sounds amazing. I actually want to be on that one. You want to be on that hook? Yeah. Well, it's underneath Cincinnati. So, uh, <laughs> Mad, this sounds great for you. It's under, yeah, that's, that, that's... Maybe your brother could... I uh, think they, they believe that... I, I've heard that. That yeah. has always been a long-term <clears throat> legend, Cincinnati <clears throat> legend. Who's going to be on your arc? Ohio then? River. <clears throat> you all right there? The animals are on your arc, though, right? Are you bringing animals, or what are you bringing? Jennifer Look, I'm Connelly? bringing animals, but it's not going to be two by two, like that bullshit you see in the Bible. Oh, yeah? It's well, not. Like, I get, I get, look, I believe in some of the things in the Bible happened, but I believe that they were done by human beings, so I'm not, I'm not serving some god. My god is myself, okay? Mm -hmm. My god is, is, the, is the artistic, tr uh, you know, trueness that I see as an artist. Artistic? Is that what you said? Yeah, he did. He said I might as well have said that. Spectrum. Sure. Look, I like, have a very, I have a, look, I have, I have a, uh, um, a, a, an affected accent. I yeah. wondered about that. It seems real put on. Well, I was raised by whisperers. Oh, uh, okay. W like horse whisperers? Or? No, I was raised by very quiet people. Oh, okay. Why were they so quiet? Did you live in, like, a library? Well, it was like a monastery. Oh, okay. Like a monastery. It was like a monastery, but there was no religious affiliation. Oh, okay. Just a lot of people being quiet. Yeah, it was very quiet. <laughs> It was advertised that way. <laughs> Wait, it was advertised? Well, it was, we're, you know, socially, culturally, we were just whispers. This, oh, is, yeah. this is Matt again. I have a question. Why are you only Matt, bringing, why aren't you bringing two of all the animals? I, I wanted, I'm glad that you remember that because I wanted to talk Thank about, you, I don't want, I don't want to bring, I want to be tied down to bringing two animals. But then but aren't, these, aren't they, uh, so they, they, no, they multiply? No, I say bring, I say bring one. Bring one fucking horse and if it can figure out how to survive, I think great. Oh. So then the horse and the like zebra will have to have a baby together. Yeah. Look, try it out. I'm sick of these fucking animals. Don't you look around at these animals in this world and you go, oh, boring. Yeah, exactly. Let's get I'm, a, I'm tired of seeing an elephant that just grabs things with its nose. Guess what? If I grab something with my, with my nose, somebody would shit on me. Let's get a lion fucking an owl or something. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, it's... Yes, and it, look. Let's make the future fabulous. Look, cursing a lot, Scott. Make, Sorry, make the lion lay down with the lamb. If they don't want to, then fuck. The Bible is wrong. I'm going to prove that. Yeah. Wow, this sounds amazing. Look, I'm, I'm going to bring in one of animals I like. Some, I'm going to bring in, look, I'm going to bring in two of some of them. Sure, if you want them around, sure. Two what of about them. spiders? Spiders, I'm going to bring, 
I'm, I'm going to bring about 50 spiders. 50 spiders? Why? But different species. Why? Who wants spiders in the future? Yeah, but they're so easy to kill. And they're good luck. <laughs> You're bringing them just to kill them? Well, look, you don't kill spiders. I don't know how you run your household, but if the way I run my arc, I don't kill spiders because you want them to eat the insects. Yeah. Okay, they eat, I know they, they're necessary. They eat the fly. What eats the spider? And then look, the, when we did the, the dry cat. run for the Noah, Noah film. Cat, was, cat, eat the sp- cat eat the spider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like spiders. That's, I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, you know, sure they eat flies and all that kind of stuff, but I'll just swat flies. Perhaps you'll die. <laughs> Maybe. Look, the, what we learned doing the dry run of the apocalypse and the mass die off of humanity doing the film Noah, what we learned from that is that some of the animals are cunts, okay? And we, I don't want, I don't want fucking cockroaches and little, like, l- lime bugs laying around. Yeah, cockroaches and lime bugs. Who needs those? No, so you've got to have plenty of spiders. You've got to have lots of sheep, okay? I can't emphasize enough. You've got to have why so fucking many sheep? sheep. Look, you don't need to know exactly why you need sheep on the ark. I'm saying is clothing you know, and for food. 300 and days in an ark, it's oh, dark. Oh, companionship. Is is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. It's disgusting, mate. I'm not saying that, okay? He's what I'm saying is sometimes it. I have insomnia. Yeah, you got to so count, count them. I need to count sheep. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, I count sheep and I need physical live sheep. Okay, I understand. I count, I you count, can make sweaters, too. I count them and I slaughter them after I count them. That's how I, that's how I keep count because it's hard. Wait, so, yeah, so because otherwise you lose count. So I, I've brought on, there were, there were 80,000 sheep that I brought on. Wow. During principal photography. Oh, this sounds like an expensive I movie. Killed, I killed all but eight of them Is during filming. any and of that it, wind up in the finished cut? Uh, well, yeah, there's going to be, uh, oh, it's all going to be an Easter egg on the DVD. Oh, great. We so. see sheep getting killed and killed and killed. Wow, that sounds like an amazing DVD. Does anything happen in the silhouettes? <laughs> hey there. Hey, George. Who, oh, it's George Emmett, yeah. A lot of it happened in the silhouette. Yeah, sure. There was plenty of stuff. You ever count sheep? You ever count sheep in a bucket of ox? <laughs> You're going to like the way you survive the deluge. I guarantee thank, it. Thank you, George. Yes, we guarantee it. George, just hang back for a second. Hold on a second. Wait, George. What is, it's getting dark in here. <laughs> oh, stop turning down the lights again. George. No, it's fine. Look, I'm, I'm okay with this feeling, all right? Oh, really? Have you ever done a movie completely in the oh. dark? You have done a movie completely in the dark. Which one? Well, I didn't release it. It was called. It was. It was. It was called uh, Apocrypha. Apocrypha. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, it was deliberately boring. Look, what I wanted. I wanted to point out something when I yeah. filmed. Oh God, it feels so good. What are you guys oh, doing? God, the silhouette is very sexual looking over here. Yeah. Doors locked again. Oh. You're gonna like your opening weekend. <laughs> Stop guaranteeing things. <laughs> I, I really guarantee. It. What, is, oh, oh, what is going on behind the silhouette there? Look, all that's happening is a uh, look. <laughs> this is a, something that happens between people when they're on an ark, Scott. Is George Zimmer going to get on the ark? Well, look, he, clo- he locked the doors. He locked the doors. Wait, are we in one of your arcs right now? Look, this could be a functioning escape arc if you want it to. The door is locked. I checked. This is Matt. This is scary. This is scary. Why does it have to be scary? I'm Look, I'm saying- getting a free blowjob from a man with a beard. Look, we're, look, we're six blokes, okay? But it's, this is the way it's going to work. This is why I want to get past the idea of two by two by two. We've got to liberate. If there's going to be a new world, look, last time it happened, last time it happened, people were like, oh, great, we're going to have God. Fuck that. This time, we're going to have sex with everybody. So I'm only bringing animals that are down to fuck. I'm only bringing people <laughs> that are down to... D- that's the rule for the next you're, world. You're only bringing animals that are down to clown? <laughs> Look, what I'm saying is, if you're going to have an art, if you're going to destroy most of the population of all living things on this planet, besides the plants, they're going to come back. They don't need to fuck. They're little cunts. Look, all, what you're going to do, you've got to get down with a blowjob. That's fucking right. That's fucking right right okay, now. Okay, come on, okay, guys. So, no, he's really getting into it. Uh, what he's animals? Got his tongue, right now, he's got his tongue on one of my balls. That's oh, just come the perfect on, feeling. Guys. The other one's dropping loose down his chin. and the Oh, God, it's hairy. It's I thought I was going to so let red. my kids listen to this. Yeah, I don't think they should. I don't think I should do that. I don't think I'll let my future children listen you're, to this either. You're it looks, gonna, you're it looks gonna weird like, in silhouette. You're it does. like the way you learn your vocabulary. It looks kind of like a kangaroo <laughs> in silhouette. I'm not sure, I'm not sure where, where, where George... Where, I don't, I'm not sure which, which one is George. Look, yeah. beware. I can, I can be present anywhere at the same time, as long as I'm in the same shadow zone. All right. Tell you what, we, we need to go to another break, if that's okay. Red, Scott, you, I think this interview is going great. I think it's amazing. I'm, I mean, I'm, I love learning about the Bible. I, mean, and, I think we should nominate this for a primetime potty award. 
A primetime potty award. Not like those daytime potty awards. Mr. Crow seems a lot less angry. I'm just going to say. He yeah. seems a lot less right. angry. Look, how how and look, you guys won't let me leave? I don't, I don't <laughs> nut all at once. I don't have a big cataclysmic nut, you know, like a big deluge or anything. Like, I let it flow out. Oh, just sort of sucking God. it. Wait, is that, is, that what, out. is that part of Noah? Is that what happened to the flood? <laughs> oh. Look, I'm saying, look, as above, so below. All right. Familiar we need, with the works yeah, so of below. magical history. All right, we need to go. Come on. Uh, Red, are you guys prepared to do another song? Song? Uh, yeah, this one has uh, a lot of this. This song actually has blowjobs in it. Take me there. Okay, so this is the one that you were talking about, Nashville. This is Nashville. Oh, so this is the one you wrote with that dude. But it's those. It's a meta. It's the metaphorical. It's like who do I got to blow? You know, uh-huh, it's not yeah. like actually who do I have to okay. give a blowjob? It's a dirty to. show. I'll tell you who you got to blow. Okay, all right, you George. Blow Russell Crowe, and you got to do it sloppy, and you got to do it long. All right, George, come on. Uh, uh, all right, boys, take me there. I want you to take me there. I'm almost ready. Just go for I it. I apologize. This is not the tenor of the show usually. I'm I, sorry, but, Mom. But it sure is the better tenor. All right. Uh, are you guys ready to play? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, all right, here we go. This is the old 97s with Nashville. Here we go. One. Two, one. Well, I married Caroline back in May of 99. It was fucked up at the time, but I figured we'd keep trying. Her brother and her dad, they were spitting mad when I packed up what I had and took off running. It was bad. It was mean. I didn't care. And it's gotten me nowhere. So I'm trying to be a better man. Turns into right I turn sunshine into night I got my ass kicked every fight No, I couldn't get it right I built castles out of sand I couldn't understand Why everything I planned Ran like whiskey off my hands And my hands were never clean Things I wish I'd never seen I'd do anything to wake up From this motherfucking dream Who'd I got to blow To get in this fucking show It's dark in there, I know And I got nowhere else to go Why well, I need a place to hide so I put away my pride and come inside Cause I'm tired of running Oh, oh and there's a universe that's floating out in space And I look up there and I can't find my face And I'm seeing my reflection backstage Writing down the same old words on the same old page Who'd I got to blow to get in this fucking show? It's dark in there, I know, and I got nowhere else to go Well, I need a place to hide So I put away my pride and come outside Cause I'm tired of running yeah, I said, who'd I got to blow to get in this fucking show? It's dark in there, I know, and I got nowhere else to go. Well, I need a place to hide, so I put away my pride and go inside, cause I'm tired of running. And go inside, cause I'm tired of running. Yeah, go inside, cause I'm tired of running. <laughs> Woo! Three for three. <laughs> yeah very Woo! nice very rocking oh, oh man rocking <sighs> Russell you're still in the middle of that you're taking a long time it's like tantric all right we have I feel to, it in my core let's go to a break when we come back we'll have more Matt more Red I'm sorry Mad more Red 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 and uh, uh, more George and more Russell after this you're gonna like it little <laughs> yeah. comedy being being uh uh, uh, comedy blowjob. Comedy, yeah, is, may as well be. Jeez, this is Mark as well be. <laughs> MD. Tell me about it. Uh, Scott, well, do you know that delicious line that's neither swallowing nor spinning? Okay. That's exactly where I'm living right now. All right, George. By the way, George, are you... That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, and I'm living it right now. All right, George, are you, you're... By the way, you're not that guy from the news recently, right, George? Hold on a second. Russell, I'm going to have to... Go ahead. No, do what you need. I'll zip it up. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to sit back up here because you brought up something very... Hold on. Is there cum on my face? Oh, God. Just tell me. Is there cum on my face? No. I don't want it. It's dark in here. I have no. a silhouette everywhere. I never know if I'm covered in cum. Oh, God damn it. 
Look, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's part, it's the occupational hazard. I want to address this because people are confusing me with that asshole George Zimmerman. Okay. You want to get this out of the way? Look, he's a felon. He's a murderer. He got off. It's the state of Florida. I say, fuck Florida. It looks like a J.C. Penny dump. Never endorsed anything about that fucking state. Okay. He was a murderer. He was a murderer. He was a murderer. And he got off. Look, I want to make it very clear. I'm George Zimmer. He's George Zimmerman. Right. We have nothing in common. He dresses. He dresses like. A, he dresses like the back page of a fucking Sears catalog. Have you ever murdered anyone? Of course I have. <laughs> okay, well but, you have something in common. But look, you? Scott. He 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 shot an unarmed black teenager in Florida. Who have you murdered? I've only look. I believe in gun rights. I'm a libertarian. I'm for legalization of marijuana. The only people I've ever shot, I was, I was, I, it was while I was on medically medical cannabis with a prescription. I had a legally obtained firearm in the okay. state of Texas and once in the state of Idaho. And I don't shoot people who are less privileged. I don't shoot people who are from you know. Races that you have do been a impressed. background check on people before you shoot them. The two man, the two, the two. Well, actually, it was it was two times that I shot two people. They were all old, white, powerful, patriarchal men. In the one percent, yeah, one percenters. I've only shot old, rich, white men. Can you say some of these people's names? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Sure. None of them are famous. Oh, okay. What are their names then? Uh, Mark Milson. Mark Milson. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Tanner uh, Tannenbaum. <laughs> Tanner. Tan- so uh, both of these guys have alliterative names. I've they noticed. Have, they have cop. Look, I go for also for <laughs> cop. For, I go for people whose names sound like that you're being made up at the last minute. <laughs> okay, great. Is this why you're in the witness protection program? Exactly. No, I didn't want it. I didn't want it to come out there, but I under look. I feel like. We've a lot of us have let our hair down yeah. in the last half hour, and I think I'm comfortable telling you, maybe I'm in the witness protection program. Maybe it's not even the government sponsored witness protection program. Maybe it's just my own private version of it. Oh, I, I no call idea. it the witness protection program, but maybe I just you know I lay I've been laying low. Maybe that's why I'm in silhouette. All right, George. Well, that's great. Um, it, it is time for one of our favorite features on the show. Uh, if we could, it's time to play a little something we call "Would You Rather." Just go for it again. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, that's the problem. Go for it. The Would You Rather n- theme is should not be the soundtrack to what is going on right now. Okay? Look, you said be quiet. I'm being quiet. Okay, I've got to concentrate. If I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use my voice. What do you want from me? Oh God. Oh, all right, all fuck. right. Just, uh, God. Take it all right, guys. Tart. It's time Take to it like a tart, You fucking slut. Come on, come on. Door still locked. Yeah, sorry about this, Mad. It's okay. Um, all right. I think so this I've... is bad. Try being in an arc. It's closed with pitch and tar. Okay. Really? That's all you have to put to hold together the entire arc is just pitch and tar? That's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want people to get in. You won't be able to get out. All right. You can't let the floodwaters come in. <laughs> pitch and tar. Yeah, what's the difference there? Uh, the ones that are the same. I don't know. Uh, well, a pitch is also a rugby field. That's true, but we're not talking about homophones. We're just talking about what's the difference. Between, okay, never mind. We're getting wildly off topic here. It's time to play Would You Rather. Guys, we all know how this is played, right? Pitcher tar. Pitcher tar, yeah. What would you rather? Mad? Uh, tar. Tar, okay. Tar. Rad? Pitch. Pitch. George? Blood. Okay, great. And Russell? Oh, God. Okay, great. See, that is an example of how it's played. Um... People send me Would You Rather scenarios to our Twitter, which is at CBBWYR. Um, I will read them out loud. I will then open the floor for questions, during which you are free to ask me any question you like about either of the scenarios in order to help narrow down your choice. There's a lot of information that I have that is not contained within the question. Okay. Don't vote early. Don't say, oh, I already know. because How many questions can I ask? uh, As many as you like. Until the floor is closed, there will be no warning. (laughs) Okay. What's going on back there in the silhouette? There will be no warning about uh, when the when the floor is closed for questions. But after that, you may ask okay. no more questions. Okay. We will then vote. We'll tally up the points. We'll figure out uh, who the winner is. Okay. How's that sound? That sounds okay. I wish I could leave, though. I okay. don't want to intimidate anybody, but I've answered 14 questions correctly in the last six months. Really? For who's, who's asking? I'm just practicing some tweets. Okay, very good. All right. <laughs> this comes to us from Mark Doton. 
Mark Doten asks, would you rather live in a world where every year it rained guns for a full day or where it rained fish hamburgers for a month? Would you rather live in a world where every year it rained guns for a full day or where it rained fish hamburgers for a month? I'm opening the floor for questions. Have at thee. What? Okay, so just gun everywhere. It, it rained everywhere in that world, so there was no place it wasn't raining. It guns. was a lot like the movie, upcoming movie starring Russell Crowe, Noah. Gotcha. Uh, where it rained everywhere in the world, and it was raining well, not water but guns. Twenty four hours of just guns. Twenty four hours, just a daily usage of guns. Okay, and then the other ones, a month of fish burgers. Yes, and that is uh, forty thirty days of fish burgers. Okay, thirty. Well, thirty one sometimes. sometimes. It depends on the month. It okay. might be twenty eight. I mean. This is red. I have a question. Uh, uh, gun, 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 guns, gun, guns, gun, proper guns, gun, gun, with, uh, gun, 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 guns, gun, gun, with style? like bullet bullets or like Nerf dart gun guns. The uh, it also rains bullets, Shit. and at the uh, at the speed and velocity that bullets travel <laughs> when shot by a gun. Hold on a second. I've got a question about that. Yes, I, I, no, I have to jump ahead because I had another question. But the bullets that are raining. Yes, are they? anthropomorphic bullets like in Super Mario Brothers that you can hop on in order to send them falling down to the ground. Yes, of course. Yes. So it's a lot like what you probably have in your second arc. Yes. Sure it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting excited about that. Yeah. Now, uh, this is my other question was, Yes. If I've already, I, know, I already know what I want, but go ahead. Uh, see, this is, that's a classic would you rather blunder right there, Matt. It is? Yeah, you can't vote early. You can't tell people you already have made up your mind because what if something comes up my in mind one of these change, questions? But okay. Sure, but... Let's, no, not, let's not vote early. Look, my question is with a scenario where there's, it's raining fish burgers for a month. Yes. Is it exactly a month or could it be 40 days and 40 nights? It can be 40 days or 40 nights. Is actually, it, this is so It rains a, a month and then another 10 days. Another 10 days. Well, it's actually, it's in a... Uh, you're moving the goalposts, though, on this thing. It was a month now. It's well, that's like, what I'm saying. Is, this is in... Look, you, if you're going to object, is, Matt, if you're going to jump right now to the goalpost being moved, you're not going to like it when there's a fucking flood that comes in and wipes everything no, out. I know. What I'm you're saying is... You're going to be wishing is, you were on my ark licking a... Sheep's testicles. I don't want. I don't want to be on your arc. I don't want. I want. I wish somebody just. You don't want to be the on the door. arc. I just want to get out. I just want somebody to unlock the door. This is a world where there are less months in a year, and they last forty days. Oh, yeah. So okay. there's there's uh, nine months, nine yeah, and a half world. months, like the antediluvian world. My, yeah. my answer hasn't changed. This is a world that is based upon the birth cycle, where there are just nine months, or the Hugh Grant film, uh, nine months, and that's birth an cycle. entire year. Yeah. Where he, he gives he, he delivers babies on a on a bicycle. Yes, exactly. Cycle. Yeah, that's not a bad movie, actually. That's really, I love that should, movie. You Good. should think about this as a follow up to Mistaken for Strangers. Okay, birth cycle, birth okay. cycle. Yeah. Uh, so yes, the forty days, forty nights. It's it's raining fish burgers. And is there sufficient? Is there sufficient buoyancy in a deluge of fish burgers that an ark could float above it? Yes, an ark could float on the buns of the fish burgers, and actually, the fish are alive. Uh, so it's raining live fish surrounded by buns. Oh, see, that answers my question. I was going to say, are they going to be tasty fish burgers? They will be tasty once you kill them, but you would have to kill every single With fish. With their living fish burgers. Living fish burgers, yes. So they have all their, they're battered and buttered and breaded. But they're but so they're alive. Yet. Yeah, exactly. Because they're just save? almost waiting to be cooked. <laughs> yes. Can we save the fish and like put them back in the water and let them live out the rest of their natural life? There's no water. It's just uh, hamburger buns everywhere. God. Yeah. So, no, you may not throw the fish back if that's what you're asking. You're so going you, to have to eat them and, or store them in order, you know, freeze them somehow. So if you choose that, if you choose that scenario with 40 days and 40 nights of a fish, yes. fish deluge, and you're floating above it on an ark, but there's no water. There's you, no water on this, on this world, yes. So then you, you, you won't last more than a week in that world. So you wouldn't see it out. You'd just have to know that it was going to live that way. Yeah, if the, in a world with no water, yeah, it would, the, everything would turn to desert or ice. Uh, I guess there wouldn't be ice because there would be no water. Everything would just turn to desert. You would not be long for this world in that world. Yeah, exactly. I, I have a question. I have a question. Oh, sure, George. Hold on. Let me sit up here a second. Okay, yeah, please sit up by the mic. Here's my question. Which okay. of the two scenarios has the darker lighting? When it's raining <laughs> guns or when it's raining fish burgers? I think the just the consistency of the fish burgers makes it very very dark in the clouds, and so uh, uh, and the guns would reflect sunlight. Yeah, exactly. that's what I was wondering. But good, okay, okay very good. Yes, so it's dark as like a cloakroom. Yeah, exactly. Matt, seems like you have a question. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, why did it it's, seem like that it's so the badly? Same question about the door. The door. The door. The like door. I, just wait, when can you leave? When us? can we get out? And I don't. You know, I'm not sure if we're ever going to be able. You're going to gonna leave. like the way you ask. <laughs> I guarantee it. 
Open yourself up to having fun, Matt. What do you say? Uh, this is uh, not a gloomy national song. This no, is a, I know. This, this is a fun... I just don't like any either of the scenarios at all. You don't and, like either of them? No. Nope. You're going to have to live in one. I know. What, what, I, I, I'd rather just not have to choose any... You're going to have to choose, all and, right. and it's it's up to you to get that information. Okay. I don't have any more questions, though. You I, don't I have any both. More. I think I have all the... Inf- I, 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 I think You're I only going to live a week... In oh, wait, the, I only live in a week? Well, that's in the fish scenario, there is no water, water, and so it turns oh. into an apocalyptic... Well, there, then I go with the other one. Oh, please don't vote early. I'm going to have to dock <laughs> you some points, Matt. I'm so sorry. Well, you I'm said gonna... one I die, and the other one is just 24 hours of guns. Well, you die in down. both. What are you... Are you immortal or something? No doubt, yeah, but much are, wait, much later in the scenario you one. I'm not. You're not? I don't know. I, I don't think, think he, so. I don't know. I mean, you, you, no one knows until, until they I mean, know, right? But, I mean, if, if the vampire Lestat has taught us anything... <laughs> Uh, sometimes stars. immortals become rock stars. Yeah. So you might be <laughs> vampiric or just uh, some sort of immortal. God taught me a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a tough decision at this point, but it's up to you to get some answers. Red, what do you have for us? You have a question? Would you like me to answer? No. no I, okay, we, yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't want to answer. I haven't closed the floor for questions. Okay, so by the way, question. there will be no warning. Listen, I, I had a really great sushi dinner last night, and I'm wondering, would I be able to have one of the sushi chefs from Hirozen in Los Angeles hang out with me for that last week of my life, making me fantastic sushi the whole time as I die? The entire time. Yes, you will. Yeah. In fact, he is your lone companion. Oh, also, in the bullet scenario, yes. is there like a safe? Or some safe room where I cannot get hit by bullets, like a or bulletproof get shot. room. Yeah, and, uh, and is there water? Is there is water okay. in the bullet scenario? Um, Good, does not. There is no bulletproof room, but uh, it also rains bulletproof vests. Oh. so if you can grab one of those Kevlar helmet kind of helmet thing, it it does not rain Kevlar helmets, but, but I can get th- one. You can buy one, yeah, if you have enough money. God, I'm changing my vote. I think. Let me ask you this: in yes. the scenario, is very important for me to know. Yes, this. Russell. Very yes. important. Part. Okay, Russell. No, I'll, I'll oh, tell you the answer. Look, I need to know this. Okay, no problem. Oh, the floor is closed. Oh. Fuck you, mate. Wait, I have a question. Fuck you. Mate. Oh, the floor is closed, Matt. Uh, See, this is why you got to get your but questions. But I just in. thought of it. I'm going to ask my question anyway. Uh, if you want to tempt the wrath of the gods, you can ask your question. Look, I've, I'm personified Noah. I think, I'm, I think I can handle the wrath of the gods. All right. Very Look, I, wanted to, rude. I want to know in the scenario with the guns raining down, mm-hmm. does each gun that falls into your hands involve like a moral crisis and like a close-up scene where you're like, I guess what has to be done has to be done? Oh, I wish I could answer that question, but the floor is closed. I just wanted the question out there. I Matt, did you want to ask your question even no. though I cannot answer it? That was the exact same question, actually. Oh, yeah. really? Wow, you guys have a lot in common. Well, he wrote it down, and I could see what he wrote down before oh, he asked it. So when so you I, say you just thought of it, you were just reading I off read, of his pad. I read Russ, Mr. Crow's paper. Man, yeah. you should try whispering more, too. Yeah, have you ever thought yeah. about that? Look, yeah. You kind of have a, have a Trust low... Trust me. If you, you have, want what he's getting, you should lower your voice. It's really seductive. And I only mean that in a legalistic, contractual... Right, of course. ...customer satisfaction sense. All right, we're going to have to vote here. Um, Matt, you've been wanting to vote... Ever since we started just, this, just so I can go. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I was going to vote for the gun day because um, it's just over after twenty four hours. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then and apparently in that one, it seems like you don't die after a week. You might die later, but you you might live longer. So I still feel like you're an immortal, and you're trying to tell us that. Well, I don't know if if I, I, I suspect most of us will die. I'm not sure if I will. That's interesting because you know no, that's the other thing. You it. may be bulletproof. You've never been shot, right? No, we should test this. Not never been shot at. What do you think? Never been shot. I don't. Maybe you have super heroic powers I, of some sort. I suspect there's a good chance I do, but I, I don't. I don't. Think you don't want need to test, test it, it. it. Yeah. I, I think you might be might be right, but they yeah, speculate wanna, about this on the national fan boards. They, seems presumptuous that I'm immortal. That seems a little bit of a stretch, but I'm not going to count it out. And I'm just I'm let other people talk about it and think about it. But it's not. I don't care. There's I, a big way. part of Mistaken for Strangers, your new movie, where uh, people are comparing pictures of people in the 1800s and the 1700s and comparing pictures but, of you now and saying this. I looks look like, like the a same. lot of lot. Of, I look like a lot of people that have been over many different periods of time, many 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 different different generations and and, and ages, mm-hmm. and. Uh, um, I don't know. I just um, it's the beard. It could be. I, I could be those people. You, I don't, you sort of I don't, look like I, I gotta say. You sort of look me, like Abe Lincoln a, in a way. Every day I wake up and just it's just about the day. I, so I, like two thousand years ago, that was the same thing. I woke up and that was just what I did that day, and this is where I am today. So I'm not gonna say I don't know. Matt, would I, you I'm mind? Really, I'm really digging your vibes here, Matt. I'm really yeah. digging it. I want to say yes to the project. Thanks, Mr. Crow. Matt, would you mind taking your two fingers and putting them uh, in front of your mustache? Just so I, yeah, you kind of look like Abe Lincoln. Were you Abe Lincoln? I wasn't. 
I was I was a friend of Abe Lincoln's from my, from my memories, but that was a long time ago. I okay, don't you, remember everything about that. Memories are a lot like scars; uh, they, it, it, it tends to just heal over in the brain, where we can't remember you know every little detail unless you're Mary Lou Henner. Right, Ugh. boy. Ugh. Yeah, she's like you, an elephant. How'd you memory. like? Would you like to be Mary Lou Henner and then have to remember everything that ever happened on the set of Taxi? Yeah, everything that I Danny DeVito ever said to you with his twisted mind. Boy, I wouldn't want to remember that. Right. In any case, what is your vote, Matt? I'm, I said the he gun day. Voted. The gun day. Oh no, you were just kind of saying that you were tempted. Oh, okay, so no, you no, do want to go the, the gun, gun day. I'm going to go to the gun go day. Go with your heart. I just I'm not a fish. I don't I, I, I don't I don't love fish sandwiches. You don't love fish sandwiches? Not really. So I just. Hmm. Ugh. So and then one's over in one day, the other one goes on for thirty or forty days, depending on what kind of a of a year if it's a birth cycle year, and that, that confuses me too. So I just I can it's stick just with the a one really day gun day thing. One day gun day thing. One yeah. day gun day. Yeah, that's a great slogan for it. One day gun day. It's like the purge in a way. Yeah. You know, just like one day gun day. Yeah. And we all you know try to take shelter if we can, even though our houses find are not bulletproof. Just find a spot under a tree, a nice thick big tree, and then it's sure. It's, grab a vest. Yep. Buy a Kevlar helmet if you take can afford a nap, it. and then it's over after one day. You mm-hmm. know, and that's that's why I'm voting. Hopefully, like you that. won't be taking an eternal nap by getting rained no, on. I, d- by I never do. I never have. Yeah. All right, uh, Rad. How do you like to vote? <clears throat> uh, I, you know, I'm really torn because both of these are such re- uh, terrible options. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to go with the fish because. You know, a week is fine. I could take a week. A week, sure. 40 years. I don't have, At some point, I'm going to have to die, you know? Sure. I don't sing for you the national. A, yeah, you li- lived a great life. Thanks. I, I think so, too. Yeah. And, um, so, and I like fish a lot. I do get the sushi chef. Mm-hmm. I'll drink wine. There's no water. I can drink wine mm-hmm. or sake. For a week. You, you go get thirsty, though. I've tried that. But I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, so you may as well just like keep it going. Yeah, and I'm a pacifist. And the idea of all those people with all those guns, stupid people with guns. Yeah, yeah, but we all have guns. Even, even, I mean, everybody has guns. It kind of equalizes everything. Everybody's that's just like, true. I mean, and that's that's a big point that I wanted to talk about. Is if everyone had a gun, then everyone would be safe because everyone I, would know that oh, we're all carrying guns. Right? Can I change yes. my vote? You guys totally convinced me, and I'm a good shot. I just realized that. I just remembered. I could kill all y'all fuckers. Yeah. Really? So okay, you're changing your vote. Change then. my okay, vote. So we have two for the gun scenario. I'm a terrible shot. Uh, who wants to go next, Russell or or uh, George? Look, we can go the way we want. Okay, Russell, it seems like you want to go. It's whatever you want, Scott. All right, what do you got, Russell? Look, I'm torn. I'm really fucking torn between these two scenarios. Yeah. Because I like to have the ability of self-defense. I like to have the power. Mm -hmm. I like to have the moment with a gun, the power of a gun. As soon as, you know, it's there. It's a weapon in your hand. Mm -hmm. I also like fish. I really fucking like fish. I like floating on them. I like floating on things. and I feel like an arc wouldn't be able to float. Are you gonna, by the way, are you going to bring fish on the ark? It sort of like defeats the purpose because if you just leave the ark or leave the fish in the water, it's not like you have to save. The, it's not like you have to bring an aquarium. Part of the fun, mate. I'm sorry to spoil this for you. And yeah. look, none of this got into the movie. But part of the fun is having an animal that shouldn't be on land. Like, uh, like you get albatrosses. They're supposed to be flying all the time, and you just can find them. And they're just, they're just, they're just. <laughs> They're just flying in circles. Like, they're just doing laps around the ark until they drop dead. That's kind of fun, just to see the limits of an animal species. Right, okay. You get fish, and they're like, we like this. It's a flood. It's uh, finally, it's like, we run the earth. Yeah, we're home. And you're like, ha, 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 watching them flop around and just die there. The whole species dead. That that does sound like a lot of fun. Look, it's really fun. And it's not sociopathic because they're not my species. Right, okay. So I'm not supposed to look out for them. Right. So now, how do you vote in this scenario? Because you love fish, you, you like the idea of guns. The problem is, I just don't believe in democracy. And mm. I don't believe it. I don't believe in voting. I think I'm, I'm an anarchist, and I just I like uh, mm-hmm. I don't believe in supporting the electoral system. I so I can't vote. I can't vote. Well, look, no, that was George Zimmer. I like I do limit. I do do. <laughs> yeah, look, anarchists and libertarians agree on a lot of issues, but not everything. <laughs> I think we agree on just enough. But look, <laughs> I'm not going to vote either way. But okay, I'm so saying what side I would do- donate money to uh-huh. is that definitely the one that's raining fish burgers for a month. Okay. Because I want to be able to float on it. And I can't wait to see the, I can't wait, after the, after the flood is over, I can't wait to see the rainbow of, um, of just fish oil. Okay, great. So, but un- promise for- from God. Unfortunately, because you cannot vote, you're disqualified. I, don't, so. I've, I donated money to the pro. To that's vote, okay, but yeah. you're disqualified. And I'll raise awareness. I'll raise awareness. Okay. But is there still- a rainbow at the end of Noah? Oh, yeah. Is that like the happy ending at the end of Noah? Look, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's kind of, you know it's coming. Okay. 
but what you don't understand is the way the rainbow's delivered to you. Oh, I can't. Oh, like really? The... Can you just spoil it, though? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> we came up with new colors. New colors? We came up with new colors that are outside the spec- visual spectrum. Wow! This is amazing. So people are going to see new kind of special effects, new colors at the end of No? Well, look, we got, look. We wanted to surprise people. We were like, how do we get that perfect color that's right between red red and brown, like a ruddy thing that you mm-hmm. don't normally see in the sky? Right. So we got, you know, we got a microscopic, like a camera, like a little camera, like a medical camera, mm-hmm. and it went inside my colon, and it's a, and we so we got okay. footage of that. That's one of the rainbow colors. Okay, well that sounds that fascinating. You would never know it's like a bird where bird it's from. Bird. Yeah, it's a bird, exactly. It's a bird, red wine. It's a bird. So it's earthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So George, how do you like to vote? Look, I look, I have to vote. I have to vote for the guns reading for one day. Why is that? Why? Because you're gonna like the way you shoot. Okay. I guarantee it. I should have known. Okay, great. So we have three people for the guns and one uh, person who abstains. I don't abstain. Well, you're disqualified. What was that, Rad? Um, Do you vote? Oh, I don't vote, no. But, I mean, I, but do, you, do you have an opinion? Do you want to share? Do you care? Wow, no one's ever asked me that before. This is unprecedented. I, I thought we weren't allowed to ask any more questions. Well, that's true. I do have to dock you some points for that, Rad. Um, 500 points. Uh, Matt, you're such a kiss ass. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to stay by the rules, and I got penalized. So what? Well, you know. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, Matt. <laughs> Scott, is there any way that points could be undocked? Uh, uh, that unfortunately is a question I'm gonna have to dock. Sure you it is. <laughs> but I bet there's a way to undock those points. I'm Go gonna, ahead, and knock gonna, me down. I'm docking you two points. All right, two points. That's an easy deficit to make up. Hold all right. on. Uh, you've all answered the. Okay, if, come on, George, get away! Stop eclipsing me, eclipsing me in shadow, please. Um, You're going to like the way you dock, I guarantee it. All right. Did, did I dock you points, by the way, Mad? Yeah, you did. Well, but you didn't tell me how many, though. Oh, yeah, it was 750. <laughs> okay, so, Mad, you're at negative 750. Rad, you're at negative 500. And George, you're negative 2. Yes. Russell, wow. you have abs- you've abstained. You cannot vote. Look, I, let, I think I rose above the conflict. Right. Now, you all... I'm in my own arc, mentally. You all voted for the gun scenario, which gets you one point. So that takes you to... Uh, Mad, you're at negative 749. Rad, you're at negative 499. Uh, George, you're at negative one. Now, Russell, you didn't vote. You can't vote. But <gasps> you're at zero points, which means you're our winner. Oh, Russell Crowe always wins. Disqualified and victorious. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of champion I am. Yeah, congr- that's how we play. Would you rather? 14 laps. <laughs> Wait, is that what you did today? I did 14 laps. Around what? Around Los Angeles. Around <laughs> Los Angeles? Yeah, I did 14 laps from Palos Verdes all the way up to Lancaster. Los Angeles County. Wow. 14 laps. The greater Los Angeles S- area? Swimming. Swimming? Why, how'd you do that? Well, you swim up you swim up the ocean from Palos Verdes. Okay. It's just kind of a shortcut, actually. Right. Uh, Palos Verdes right up to Malibu, and okay. then Topanga Canyon, there's a little river river creek, okay. and you and swim the, up that. And then is there a... a it's tr- a rough swim. You get right. a lot of rocks and scratches right. all over your Then body. is there a truck that you get into that has a swimming pool in the back that drives you... <laughs> Like a, like a whale being transported between. Okay. <laughs> but I have to do laps inside. You have to do laps while that. Okay, great. Well, that sounds like a workout. That's a fucking workout. Why are you. you so chunky, though? I can't figure it out. Look, you, you keep make, you, you're making these you're making these jokes like I'm like a. Like They're not a, jokes. It's just observations. Well, I guess it's observational well, look, humor, though, like I, Seinfeld. I don't know if you know this, but bow, I'm, bow, one of, bow, bow. I'm the least funny person that's alive. I had noticed that. 